All right, the weather's certainly great for golf today uh, and certainly great as well tonight for viewing of the full harvest supermoon and as well the partial lunar eclipse. Uh, we had some scattered high clouds, but certainly uh, cleared out at least uh, enough uh, temporarily for great viewing. This picture from Wolcott at 1021. Thank you to Lisa for sending this in. The peak was at 1044 and our very own Mike Slay for sharing this picture as well. So you can see that the partial a lunar eclipse there, the, the, the top of the moon uh, there being um, obscured by the, uh, the shadow of the Earth. So pretty incredible out there tonight. We're very fortunate given the clouds that we had earlier. Uh, and those clouds will be lowering and thickening. We're going to see an abundance of them over the next couple of days. And as well, the opportunity to pick up on some much needed rain. So far, 17 days into the month of September, right on par temperature wise compared to average. But we've got a two inch deficit for the Hartford area, and that will continue to grow until we get some rain and we've got a chance later tomorrow night and then again on Friday more on that in just a moment right now you can actually see some of those scattered high clouds looking live from Waterbury uh, 58 degrees in the Brass City meanwhile from Southeast Connecticut and Mystic visibility is dropping uh, and that is thanks to fog that continues to develop so it's going to be locally dense as we head toward the morning commute tomorrow your first alert to that uh, temperatures across western and northwest Connecticut mid and upper 50 same through the quiet corner 59 grand 63 Hartford, also 63 right now in New Haven. So more clouds spread up in our direction as the night progresses, lowering and thickening. Most of tomorrow during the daylight hours, we still think will be dry as this area of low pressure slowly moves north, encountering high pressure, preventing it from moving too quickly in our direction. But high pressure tomorrow is going to begin moving offshore and eventually will allow, again, the cloud cover to overspread the state and eventually for some rain. So here's 7 o'clock tomorrow evening, some showers on the approach to coastal and southeast eastern parts of our state. This low kind of meanders offshore as we head tomorrow night into early Thursday, spreading some scattered showers here across Connecticut. We could see some partial clearing Thursday afternoon, and this low still hangs out to our southeast as we head into the uh, close of the week on Friday, throwing another batch of showers across southern New England. At the same time, high pressure is going to be building across the Great Lakes, so kind of uh, we're on the, on the cusp of this much needed rain as we close out the week on Friday. But regardless, between the two, a northeasterly flow will start sending cooler air in our direction. So overnight tonight, again, dropping a couple more degrees from where we currently stand, kind of leveling out. Uh, tomorrow, Connecticut Day at the Big E, some intervals of sun early, mid-60s at 10 o'clock in the morning. We could get close to 80 during the afternoon with our sky becoming primarily cloudy, but we should remain dry. Here's first alert future cash showing again tomorrow, primarily dry weather later in the evening into tomorrow night. Here comes the scattered shower activity. High temperatures tomorrow, mid 70s across the hills of northwest Connecticut, upper 70s, perhaps close to 80 in around uh, the capital city and through the uh, quiet corner of northeast Connecticut, uh, mid and upper 70s there as well. Along the shoreline, mid 70s, a little bit farther inland, a couple degrees warmer, 77 for Haddam, 77 Madison, as well as for Wallingford, Branford, 77, 75 for Ansonia. We've seen a couple splits flashes of color across the hills of northwest Connecticut over the next seven days, dropping farther south across western and eastern Connecticut on either side there of the Connecticut River Valley. On our first alert seven-day forecast, scattered showers near 70 on Friday. Clouds early Saturday giving way to some clearing breezy low 70s, upper 60s for the first day of the autumn season on Sunday and remaining below average Monday into Tuesday of next week. Shoreline highs, lower 70s this upcoming weekend. All right, Mark, thank you.